But first, growing calls for justice in the horrific death of Tyree Nichols. Now, of course, this gut-wrenching case will be adjudicated in a court of law, rightfully so. But many on the left know just who to blame and what to blame. White supremacy. According to them, the five African-American cops that allegedly beat Nichols to death are racist participants in a deeply bigoted system. And that is the narrative. Now, here's the mag Time magazine, quote, well, there can be no doubt that entrenched institutional racism lies at the heart of this case. The Boston Globe, quote, black cops killed Tyree Nichols. Systemic racism is the death of us all. Forbes, quote, five black Memphis cops upheld institutional and cultural racism in Tyree Nichols' murder. Fake news CNN, quote, the police who killed Tyree Nichols were black, but they might still have been driven by racism. And CNN's uh, Mondaire Jones, quote, if you think that the Memphis police officers had to be white in order to exhibit anti-blackness, you need to take an AP African-American studies course that Ron DeSantis just banned. And the always obsessed, uh, race obsessed, Jamel Hill tweeted, quote, the entire system of policing is based on white supremacist violence, and we see people under the boot of oppression carry its water all the time. And here's Congresswoman Cori Bush, quote, the mere presence of black officers does not stop policing from being a tool of white supremacy. And she then accused the government of slaughtering African Americans at the altar of white supremacy. And on TV, the rhetoric was even worse. You decide. I mean, the idea that black cops can't be racist towards other black people on the street, in school, at traffic stops must come as a huge surprise to millions of black people in this country who've had to deal with black cops. It shouldn't be a surprise to people um, that uh, individual black people can actually do anti-black things. But I think a race is still on the table. We sometimes forget, unfortunately, um, uh, African Americans can also be guilty of hatred and bias and bigotry against other African Americans. And race still is involved, Joe, as you and I spoke about on the phone. Because right. I don't believe those five cops would have done that to a young white. On a, uh, no. on a traffic stop. The fact that it was black officers shows it doesn't matter the color of the cop, it's the victim. How many times do we have to, do we need to see white people also get beaten before anybody will do anything? All right, everything you just heard there is false. Here's something that Whoopi, the ladies of The View, apparently don't know. White people do get beaten by the police. In fact, far more uh, white people are killed every year by cops than any other race. According to an online organization that tracks this data, 374 white Americans died during police altercations in 2022. If you average that out, a little more than one per day. Um, I don't know if the ladies of The View know any of the names of the people, the 374 people. Uh, do you think the media mob devotes entire news cycles to these deaths? Do they even count anymore the number of people shot, shot and killed in Chicago anymore on any given weekend? Of course not. So why are these incidents largely ignored? According to a study from Washington State University, listen to this. They were reported on by The Washington Post in 2016, quote, officers are three times less likely to shoot unarmed black suspects than unarmed white suspects. And look at this study from the National Bureau of Economic Research, covered by The New York Times, also in 2016, quote, when it comes to the most lethal form of force, police shootings, the study finds no racial bias. So based on both academic studies and actual data, there is no systemic racism in policing. It doesn't exist. Now, of course, there are good cops, and I would say that's the vast, overwhelming majority, and there is a small majority of bad cops. What we saw in Memphis was horrible policing from really bad cops, but blaming some kind of phantom, all-encompassing boogeyman uh, is not going to solve any problems at the Memphis Police Department or any other police department around the country. Now, the left, they're not concerned seemingly at all. They're not interested in actually improving policing. They only seem to care about their own divisive narrative. Maybe these Democrats, maybe these media personalities, maybe they're just lying for pure political gain. Or maybe they harbor racist animosity and hatred towards people uh, that happen to be white or Asian or other races. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they just don't know the facts, or maybe they're just overcome with the emotion. Maybe they just pick and choose. 
How come the 99.9999% of people that are killed in any form of violence is rarely reported on? Truth always matters. Uh, that is, unless you're Joe Biden. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.